All right, welcome everyone. This is the last day of our challenge for SOC 30 days challenge. And this is all about vulnerability detection using Wazoo. Okay, let's first learn about, let's get the quick idea what is vulnerability. If you are aware about it, you can skip this theory and jump to the lab directly. But what is vulnerability? Vulnerability is any weakness in the system. System can be software, hardware, even people as well. Right. So this could be misconfiguration of a software, misconfigured system process, anything. Right. So there are types of vulnerability. As I said earlier, it could be a weaknesses or bug in the software like buffer overflow in Apache misconfiguration. Maybe let's say SSH root login is enabled or maybe outdated software. So unpatched Windows or Linux machine or it can be a default credentials which are not changed, right? So open port, standard port, default port, all those stuff, right? So now how are vulnerability discovered? How are they get discovered or detected? So we use, most of the organization use, uh, you know, uh, automated vulnerability detection software like Nessus, which is now uh, acquired by Tenable. So Tenable, Qualys, OpenVAS, uh, Nexpose, uh you know by rapid seven so these these are popular vulnerability scanner tool on which they add list of all the hardware or maybe subnets and that software will scan all the machine in the network it can be router switches web application server anything right access point everything then it also discovered through threat, threat intelligence feeds integration manual testing through penetration testing and many more Right. So how do SOC analysts mitigate the vulnerability? I mean, basically, in order to mitigate the vulnerability, it's not directly their job, but they, their job is to understand, identify the vulnerability. It's partially their responsibility. I'll tell you why, because the, as a, once the scanning is done, a SOC analyst or security engineer or any organization might end up having thousands of vulnerability. But we cannot spend all of our energy, money, and time on fixing all the vulnerability in a day, right? That's technically not possible. So as a SOC analyst, your responsibility would be to prioritize those vulnerability based on different factors, based on vulnerability calculation or CVSS score calculation. So based on that scoring system, you can then prioritize them. And also the asset criticality. Even if the CVSS score, the vulnerability level or severity score is high, you also need to understand if it is on the high, you know, highly critical asset or not. If it is the high vulnerability on a low, uh, low criticality asset, then you may have to think about, you know, prioritizing it in a different way. So that's that's how you have to work on it. Once you understand, you prioritize on the vulnerability, then you have to talk to the system admin or IT admin to ask them to patch those vulnerability or install or upgrade the system as well, right? You might also have to work on some work around situation where you create the um, firewall rules as a, as a workaround. If you can't upgrade a software, maybe because it's in the production and you can't impact the services in the real world, right? Now let's talk about the task. In this case, make sure your Windows Server and agents are installed. But technically speaking, you don't have to do anything separately because the moment you have onboarded the system, you it start discovering the vulnerability. So technically speaking, you don't have to do anything. I'll show you where exactly the configurations are present. So basically, this is your Wazoo manager. When it comes to vulnerability, you have to do all the changes on the Wazoo manager. So let's open the uh configuration file so slash var slash osec etc osec con hit enter now if you go under the configuration file you will see an option for system inventory and um, vulnerability right so you see the system inventory option here you make sure this is enabled otherwise it won't be able to maintain or understand uh different con packages software modules install in every agent so make sure disable is set to no by default it is no so you don't have to do anything scan on start so uh, uh, the moment your agent get onboarded the scan will start okay hardware do you want your um, you know wazoo 
to scan the hardware, operating system, network, packages, and everything. Make sure these are all enabled. Then only it will scan all the inventory, right? Then there is an option for vulnerability detection. By default, it is enabled. You see enable is yes. That means your job is good, right? If you make some changes here, it might impact the network. You can also see the feed update interval. By default, it is 60 minutes. So you can modify it based on or based on your need. Right. So this is all the configuration related to vulnerability detection. Once you close it, come to the Wazoo manager. Uh, on the Wazoo manager, on your right, you can see threat intelligence. This is where you have vulnerability detection option. Click on it. You can see your dashboard. This is so beautiful. You see, uh, first section talk about talks about the critical severity uh, of vulnerability, high severity, medium severity. So now this helps you. You know, this makes your job easier. Then you can possibly start focusing from the critical vulnerability first, right? So you understand which vulnerability to work first, right? Then you have an event option where you. It, the moment new software or packages are installed, then you can start priorities, prioritizing them immediately, right? This is the inventory of all the packages, system, images, and everything, right? So this is the way you can apply, even you can apply filter and understand what are those vulnerabilities in a way, right? So you can also go in detail, uh, get the idea about this CV information and get more in detail, right? So if I go to any of the vulnerability, let's say this is one of the vulnerability and this is high priority, high severity. I can even click on the, you know, zoom in option. And under this, I have all the information and I, I'll be having the references as well. So I can go to their original reference and I also get the idea about uh, how to patch those vulnerabilities as well. You can see this, uh, the status, and I can also follow some other website to understand what is the what is this vulnerability exactly and how can we fix or patch these vulnerabilities. I hope this was useful. We'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.